maneuver complete. The HTV now heading toward the southeast out over the Pacific Ocean. We had a liftoff of the H2B launch vehicle number two with Dikono Toritu on board from the Tanegashima Space Center at 2.37 p.m. on January 22, 2011, Japan Standard Time. 打ち上げ以降、ロケットの完成は、慶喜発射管制塔から高崎総合司令塔に引き継がれています。One minute and ten seconds into the flight, all systems performing well. Coming up on the point when the four solid rocket boosters will burn out. The H2B is now flying smoothly. SLBA burnout. Jacks are confirming. Uh, Separation of the solid rocket boosters, these uh, come off two at a time. The first and second pairs of the SLBA were jettisoned. Both pairs of solid rocket boosters are now separated. One minute and 30 seconds from now, the uh, fairing that uh, protects and covers up the HTV at the very top of that rocket will jettison. And at that point, the rocket will be 75 miles in altitude. The Ogasawa station has started tracking. It's three minutes after liftoff. The engine is still working. 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 The engine is The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is about 108 kilometers. The velocity is approximately 2.2 kilometers per second. Payload fairing jettison. Confirmation that the fairing has been jettisoned. The first stage will continue to burn for two more minutes. There you see the uh, smoke trail left there above the Tanagashima Space Center. The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Here in Houston, the flight director, Jerry Jason, is about to wrap up his shift. He's updating the Expedition 26 crew on board the space station, talking with Katie Coleman there, informing her that uh, tonight's launch was successful. The HTV continuing to head into orbit. The next milestone will occur at 5 minutes and 46 seconds into the flight. That is when the first Sage engine will cut off. ロケットは順調に飛行を続けており、現在の高度は約160キロメートル
秒速約 ４．３ キロメートルです。Confirmation that the second stage engine has fired. This will fire for more than eight minutes. The second stage engine will fire until the 14 minute and 15 second mark. Live shots there from the Scuba Space Station, Mission Control Room. The Guam Station has now started tracking. The second stage engine combustion, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all normal. Now, more than seven minutes into the flight, the、uh, second stage engine continues to perform as expected. The team there in Scuba, Japan, is、uh, watching over all the systems on board. The Expedition 26 crew on board the space station is also following along. For the next five days, HTV will continue to perform a series of different、uh, orbital maneuvers as it closes in on the orbiting complex. Everything was,、uh, will be all set for Thursday's activities. That is when HTV will arrive within the vicinity of the International Space Station. It will perform a series of station keeping maneuvers, and then ultimately it will get close enough so that the station's robotic arm, under the control of Katie Coleman and also Paolo Nespoli, can use that arm to reach out and grab onto HTV and to mount it to the bottom of the Harmony node. The second stage engine is still in place. 制御系飛行経路も正常です。現在の高度は約255キロメートル、高速約 5.6 キロメートルです。The second stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is approximately 255 kilometers. Velocity is about 5.6 kilometers per second. ロケットは現在安定して飛行を続けています。The flight controllers there in Scuba Japan continuing to give、uh, information on the performance of the HTV as it continues to head into space. It is、uh, now more than 160 miles high, continuing to gain velocity. Under the power of that second stage engine, which will、uh, continue to fire for another almost five minutes. We're now nine minutes and 45 seconds into the flight. It's ten minutes after liftoff.
ロケットは順調に飛行しています。第2弾エンジンの燃焼は正常。This uh, ground track and flight map being sent to us by the uh, Japanese space agency JAXA. You can see HTB continuing to head to the southeast out over the parts of the Pacific Ocean. We're now 11 minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Engine combustion, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is approximately 290 kilometers. Velocity is about 6.4 kilometers per second. HTV is now 180 miles high. Flight Director Jerry Jason continuing to give updates to Kitty Coleman, a member of Expedition 26, on the flight, but uh, all systems are nominal. Everything is performing as expected. The next major milestone will occur uh, in about two minutes and 15 seconds. That is when the second stage engine will cut off. And then a little less than a minute after that, at 15 minutes and 5 seconds into the flight, that is when HTV-2 will be separated from its rocket and will be in its preliminary orbit. The Ogasawara station finished tracking and the Guam station is now tracking the launch vehicle. The uh, spacecraft currently being tracked by ground stations near Guam. But the uh, smoke there above the Tanagashima Space Center is still very evident, even though we're more than 13 minutes past the launch time. In less than one minute, that second stage engine, which has been firing since the six minute mark, uh, will be shut down. And in less than a minute after. Less than a minute after that, that is when the HTV cargo craft itself will separate from the rocket and will begin its solo flight. The flight goes very smoothly. Standing by for second stage shutdown. Second stage engine cut off. The shutdown of the second stage engine has been confirmed. ロケットは現在完成飛行を続けています。The launch vehicle is in coast flight. These are actual replays coming to us of when the SRBs were jettisoned. And there you see replay of the、uh, payload fairing separation that was the cover that was over the top of the HTV itself. That took place at the three minute and 40 second mark. There's the first and second stage、uh, separation, which took place at five minutes and 54 seconds. 
And now back to the current view of the map itself. HTV separation. HTV has separated from its rocket. It is now flying by itself. 15 minutes and 30 seconds after the liftoff. HTV now begins a five-day trip up to the International Space Station, setting up for Thursday's rendezvous and berthing activities. This is the end of the live launch report of the HTV launch vehicle flight 2 with the Konotori 2 on board.